Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to cover the Google Doc toolbar and all the features that you have in the toolbar and what they do. So starting from the left we're going to go to the printer icon. This basically lets you print to any printer connected to your computer um, or save a PDF to your Google Drive. It's very helpful. The undo button basically um, will take whatever you did and then undo it. So for example if I say new here and I say undo it'll undo every step that was saved in the Google Doc. Redo will redo what you did. So you have these two buttons that are nice. Something I do want to clarify on is that all the um, changes that happen in this document are recorded in very minute steps. So you have the opportunity to really kind of go back really far back in time at all times in a Google Doc because it's all saved to the cloud. Now then, this one that I want to show is called the Paint Format Tool, and it's a hidden gem. So let's say this is um, Google Docs sharing, and I highlight the, the text, and I come over here and I say, hey, I want this one to be comic. And then um, let's make the font 14. Now let's say I want everything in here to do that. So what I'll do in order to make all my font change to this font, I'll come over to it and highlight it and click the paint tool button. Now that I highlighted it and then click the paint tool button, I can come over to all the words and highlight them and let go. And it'll immediately take um, that font and that size and change it for you. So what's nice about that is you're not having to go, let me do the undo button, you're not having to go to this, highlight the text, go to the font, find the font, and then at the same time find the size that that font was. So it was a really quick way to format your text um, without having to do multiple steps. Okay, the next uh, tool is basically your zoom tool. This lets you adjust the view of your document. So here's 200%, here's 100%, and then fit um, generally will take it and fit it across your screen so you can see it at an appropriate size. So if you're ever in a scenario where you need to adjust this, I'll show you a scenario right now. So if I have the screen right here, 100% doesn't make sense. I could go fit and it'll do that for me or I could go 75% and that'll do that for me. So you have the ability to change the view. Um, normal text right here, if I highlight something and I say I want this to be a title, so it's gonna change the actual font and size of the letters for me. And again, you can go to whichever one you want, subtitle, I can go to um, heading one, and then of course I can go to normal text. So this is just an option you have. Again, this is uh, where I was earlier. This is your uh, fonts that you can change. Um, what's nice is you have more fonts that you can go find. And this is your font size that you can use. This is obviously making it bold, italicized, underlined. Uh, now this one's fun. Let me undo all these. If you highlight something and you want to change the text color, you'll come here and change the text color. But what if you didn't want to do that, you wanted to highlight it? All you do is highlight the words you want to highlight, click on the um, text color and go to highlight, and this is where you apply your highlight. Um, so you can highlight something else and come over here and it'll keep doing what you're doing. Um, next on the toolbar is the hyperlink. So if I come over here and highlight Google Docs sharing, I can click hyperlink and again I can go put in a link uh, to a document or uh, a website and apply that and that turns that into a hyperlink to that location. I'm going to actually um, show you something really cool um, that a lot of people might not know about um, with anchoring. So what I'm going to do right now is um, go over to insert and what I'm going to do is actually go to bookmark at the bottom of the insert and I'm going to come over to example and I'm going to click highlight it and go insert bookmark and I'm going to say, you see how that little bookmark is right there? So now if I come over to here where I made that original hyperlink, I'm going to go change. Um, and what I'm going to do here is delete that link. And now notice it add bookmark. So now I can say example. So watch what happens to make this more dramatic. I'm going to move this all the way down to here. Watch what happens if someone clicks on this. It's going to take them. Um, oh, my bad. Hold on. 
It did not change it because I didn't hit apply. I have to hit apply. Now it's changed. So now if I hit that, and click on the link, it takes them right to where that bookmark is in the document. So that's a really cool feature if you've got um, a lesson where you have um, things spelled out in a table of contents and you wanna hyperlink them inside the document, that's how you do that. And if you just wanna hyperlink to a website, you just highlight the text, click the chain, and then basically type in the website and then hit apply. And that was the mistake I made earlier. And I click it and it takes them to that website. All right, going across, this is how you add a comment like I showed you earlier. This is your left align, center align, right align, and justify. So you've got your alignment tools here. Um, this is how you can highlight and adjust the line spacing. So this is where I can come in and just say what kind of line spacing I wanna have, um, up to you. And then over here, going across the toolbar, is your option for a numbered list or a bullet list. Now, you can click on the drop-down arrow and get different formats that you want for your numbered list. And so if I keep doing this, you see the number list goes down. Note that you can come over to a number, let's say 3, right-click and say Restart Numbering, and say Start Back at 1. And note that you can right-click on the number and go to Edit the Prefix, and let's say it's going to be 2.1, okay? And then it's going to add 1.1 and 2.1. And I can go back to edit prefix and suffix and get rid of that and say no suffix. All right, so you have the ability to do um, some really customized um, numbering and uh, also doing 0 0.1, 0 0.2 options. Um, so that's really nice. And then coming down, you have the bullet list. This is where you can pick the different type of bullets that you would want. And in the same function, I, I can do this. Make sure you, you have to put some kind of character and then hit enter. Um, and it does that. Now, moving along the list, what if you want this 2 to move over? You come over to your decrease and increase indent function. And I'll do this. And it'll increase and keep the format that I chose on that list that I selected. Same thing with bullets. Increase and decrease the indent. And this one's nice. This one's just clear all the formatting. So if I highlight all of the text and I say clear formatting, it wipes away any kind of formatting that was done to it. So for example, if I come over here and I highlight it, and I highlight this and say clear formatting, it wipes away that highlight. Um, and then I showed previously on the toolbar the editing and suggested edits uh, functions. Um, and then over here, this hides the menu. So I have successfully covered all the tools that you could use on this toolbar, and I hope this is helpful for you when you use your Google Doc um, in the classroom. Thank you so much for watching.